Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. A drone pilot that flies above the Blue Angel. Not good. The FAA finally gets a freer map. And then lastly, a burglary suspect that was caught in the act by a police drone. Let's get to it. And first up this week is your Don't Be Die Guy segment. Unfortunately, again, a video was posted this week of a drone that was flying over the Blue Angel near Pensacola Beach in Florida. Uh, the drone appeared to be in the flight path of the jets, uh, just slightly higher. Uh, the footage has since been deleted from social media, but please, please, please do not be that guy. Uh, do not interfere with other air traffic up there, especially during an air show like this. And uh, that could have been, I can't even imagine. But uh, we'll keep you updated as we see more on how this uh, story progresses, but I'm sure there will be more. Next up this week, the FAA finally released a Freya map. Uh, the new interactive map functions very similar to the UAS facility map, but instead just displays Freyas uh, instead of airspace. Uh, the map includes information about each Freya, including the site name, the affiliated CBO, uh, approval and expiration date and address. Uh, this is obviously a great site if you're a recreational flyer and you want to fly at a Freya where a remote ID is not required. Uh, this is the only place really where you can fly without remote ID, uh, unless you're flying a drone under 250 grams that is flown for recreational purposes. So uh, good job, FAA. Uh, better late than never, right? That's what they say. Last up, a burglary suspect was taken into custody after a drone observed them breaking into multiple vehicles. Now, this may sound like casual thing that happens. But in this case, this was really uh, interesting how to get there. Uh, a DFR drone, DFR drone as first responder, uh, was returning from a mission and uh, was used to survey a parking lot in a busy area where the operator noted that there was a man active, uh, acting suspiciously. Uh, after watching the man for a short time, uh, the police operator observed him using a screwdriver to break into a vehicle uh, where he sat for a while before breaking into another vehicle. Uh, police units responded and were directed to the uh, vehicle the man was in, and then after that he was arrested. Uh, this is, I think, really interest interesting and secondary use of DFR drones. Uh, I'm sure we'll see more of these stories as more the police departments start using drones for DFR. And there's going to be no live this week, please note. Uh, we're going to be at Oshkosh in Wisconsin at EA Air Venture. Uh, come and see us at the booth. We actually have two booths, uh, booth 209 where the tent and the aircraft will be and most of the team, and then booth 2141, which is in Hangar B, where we'll have uh, a team de demonstrating the VR and the AR systems that we've developed uh, over the years. So uh, we've got a lot of swag. We've got uh, a lot of smiling faces. And uh, just uh, come and see us and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll entertain you for a little bit. All right, that's it. That's all we have. We'll see you, well, in a little bit, probably next week, either me or somebody else on the Friday news update. But uh, you have a great weekend. Great. Are you flying? Yeah, we're going to be flying Saturday, possibly tomorrow, Friday, depending on the weather. We've been keeping an eye on the weather and it's not the greatest, so we'll see. What's the exciting part about landing at Oshkosh? You gotta hit the dot, right? You gotta hit the dot, so you gotta follow 100 other people that are in the pattern at the same time, and then follow, and then they give you a dot assignment on the runway, and then land on the runway, hopefully. Are you going to eat cheese curds? Well, yeah, for the whole team. For the whole, you're gonna eat enough for the whole team? Yeah, for those that can't go. We'll, we'll, we'll bring some cheese curds back. Mm -hmm.